to rescind Wilson's nomination. El Paso City Council is getting ready to hold a special meeting on the current influx of migrants seeking asylum locally and being released locally. New tonight, one state rep is planning on bringing something to the table. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela reports. I am offering an amendment that addresses this specific uh, issue that we're dealing with locally. And uh, it would create uh, uh, the ability for city and counties to be reimbursed by the state um, in dealing with these humanitarian crises. State Representative Cesar Blanco continues to push a message about the border, especially when it comes to assisting migrants seeking refuge. Many times um, the city, the county, and, and nonprofit organizations are dealing with some of the expenses incurred for the humanitarian crisis. So we, I think the state needs to step up and, and do its share in the humanitarian assistance, specifically to unaccompanied minors, to families. Um, and some of these uh, expenses include uh, public safety, um, medical care, shelter, transportation, uh, and nourishment. The city of El Paso will be moving forward with discussing on how to address the current influx of migrants on Monday at a special meeting. The city's fire chief tells us in order for the city to use local funds to assist migrants, the state has to declare an emergency. So looking from a local level, it would have to be a disaster of sort where it tasks the resources we have. So public safety, public health might be in jeopardy. It has to be of that capacity, that nature. Set up from the state level, it has a dollar threshold to it. It has a life threshold to it. It has a lot of parameters. However, Blanco is keeping hopeful his proposed budget amendment will pass and go into effect as soon as this summer. This uh, budget is a, is a bipartisan budget. I think uh, a lot of folks, um, there are a lot of great things in this budget, uh, specifically to El Paso. Uh, if this budget amendment passes, uh, then we'll be able to provide relief uh, from the state to our local communities uh, to deal with this uh, humanitarian crisis. That's Tatiana Favela reporting. All right, coming up, Robert.